been a while since I made a video, you know, but I thought this one would be pretty interesting to uh, explain. Uh, this is an invasion PCB by uh, Midway. Invasion is a shooting game. Uh, the, the board itself is actually uh, the same board they use for Mortal Kombat 4. I've never really actually played Inv Invasion. I don't have a, a shooting setup, so I, I can't play the shooting game. I bought this on eBay for about $25. That's with free shipping, so it was $25. Bucks. Uh, it was not working. Uh, they said it, it had sound, but no video. So when I ended up uh, plugging it in, Everything, uh, you know, it didn't have a display at all in the video. I didn't hear any sound, but the one thing that was positive is I know with these boards, they're, they're very poor design boards. A lot of them go dead. When they go dead, there's uh, these four LED lights right here. These four LED lights, when they go dead, they usually end up staying on when you plug it in and boot it up. Uh, they don't flicker at all. They just all stay on. And usually that's the sign that the, the board, for at least for me in my experience, that the board shot. And it's, uh, you know, probably not going to be fixable. So when I plugged this one in, it actually, the LEDs came on, but they started flickering back and forth. And for me, that's usually a good sign that the, the board's probably going to work. Uh, what I, uh, probably something with the ROMs. The ROMs were probably, uh, you know, corrupt or something like that. Uh, so what I'm going to do, since this is the same board as a Mortal Kombat 4 board, the only difference between in, in the Invasion and the Mortal Kombat 4 is uh, the Invasion actually has... See how you have these eight things over here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These eight chips. You know, and uh, Mortal Kombat 4, there's only half of them. Only four of them. And also, right here, this is not on uh, Mortal Kombat 4. Uh, so you can turn an invasion board into a Mortal Kombat 4, but you cannot turn a Mortal Kombat 4 board into an invasion board. Uh, but what I'm going to, well, one of my problems I was having is finding a, a security chip right here. There's a security chip for invasion. This is the chip that tells when you boot it up, it says, oh, this is an invasion board. It's got the security chip from invasion in there. I was having a hard time finding Mortal Kombat 4 chip. Uh, so this is actually this guy on KLOV, uh, Nazarin, um, was actually messing around with the ROMs, and he actually f was able to crack the code for the security chip. And with these two ROMs here, he, he, he sent me the file information, and uh, with these two ROMs here, I was able to burn two ROMs and put them on here. It's a U10 and a U11. And with that, you could have any security chip on here, and it should work. Right, as long as you have these two ROMs that uh, Nazarin was able to crack the code. And so you could have basically any security chip and turn this into an MK4. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut here. I'm going to end up erasing most of these ROMs. Uh, Mortal Kombat 4 doesn't use this many ROMs. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase these and burn some new ones, and uh, we'll see if it boots up. Uh, let's cross my fingers. For 25 bucks, it's definitely worth a shot. Well, I just completed erasing and uh, burning all that prompts for uh, the MK4 on this invasion board. It still does have the invasion security chip. Let's see if it focuses in on here. There's the invasion security chip, uh, but with that uh, security code being cracked by uh, Nezron. These two uh, EPROMs here, yeah, you put those on, you could have any security chip on here. So I'm going to plug it in and hopefully get lucky. Like I said, I, I paid $25 for this board. Um, you know, I have a, a good feeling it's going to work, so we'll give it a shot. I'll uh, come on back with the uh, plugged in, see how it works. Alright, I have this uh, Mortal Kombat 4 PCB in my Killer Instinct cabinet. I'm going to turn it on, see what we got. Got to change the battery out. That usually happens when the battery goes dead. Let's go up to a test menu. So far, so good. This one looks like it's working out for me. Outsta outstanding. Scorpion. Choose your destiny.
Revision 3. And everything looks good. I was able to change that invasion to uh, yeah, Mortal Kombat 4 with the help of Nazarin. Uh, I just want to thank you. I'm KLOV. Um, super smart guy. He was able to crack the code for the security chip. And uh, now I never have to worry about it again. But uh, everything looks good. This is actually my third uh, Mortal Kombat 4 board, so I'll probably end up selling one of them. Uh, one of the, the, my other backup. But uh, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Let's see if I can help you out the best I can. Again, I just want to thank uh, Nazarin on KLOV for that uh, security chip crack. Thanks a lot.